Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Two Ships Tarot. And this will be the general weekly reading for the sign of Virgo for the week of May 9th through the 15th of 2022. And hello everyone and welcome. I hope you're doing all right. The weather's doing all right. It's got a mix of everything. Sunshine, drizzle. And I would also uh, like at this time to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up, subscribed, or left a comment. Thank you very much. It is greatly appreciated. All right, Virgo. Let's have a look and see what's in store for you for this week. Ooh. And the nine of rods. So you've definitely gone through the battle here. And you're right in the middle of it. You've come out not unscathed by any means. You're just hoping that it's done, but it's not quite. You're just waiting for the next. Yeah. And the five of pentacles. So you're feeling like nobody's listening to you or paying attention to you. Feeling a little left out in the cold here, you don't feel like you have any which way to turn. But you do. There is always there's always help. You just gotta ask for it and accept it. That's all right. And the sun is next, so you know everything is gonna go your way here by the looks of that, which is nice. Renewed health and luck optimism that's nice it's always nice to see that yeah. you gotta accentuate the positive and the two of cups so some sort of friendship in some sort could be a relationship as well or a friendship that turns into a little bit more. You're on the same wavelength. You in share the same ideas and outlooks. So that's nice. And the Seven of Pentacles. So looks like you've been working on something here for a while, waiting for it to uh, bloom. And uh, you know it's not quite ready yet to pick the harvest, but you're patiently waiting. You know it'll come in. It's just a matter of time. And the Five of Swords. So, you definitely uh, feel like you've been, you know, pummeled. Or you pummeled somebody here. You know, you've managed to take out some of the swords, but try not to gloat. You know what you had to do was the right thing for you at the time. You're just going to pick up the pieces and move along. You know that it's uh, it's time. These people are tired of it. They just want to be done with it, and they're they're going away as well. So. And the four of swords. So you feel like you, uh, you're you're tired. You need a little bit of rest here. Maybe perhaps you've had a heavy workload lately. Some sort of maybe a misunderstanding of some sort in something. You know, whether it was a verbal or abusive place to work or somebody said something 
That always makes a person tired for sure. Feeling unappreciated. Because, yeah, you either need to rest or you'll be forced to rest here because it'll make you ill. So take care of yourself. You know, nobody can, nobody can make you do this, but I would recommend that you take a little time out for yourself here. Just try to relax, do something nice for yourself, whether that's fixing your teeth or getting a tummy tuck. It doesn't matter. The Queen of Cups. All right. So she's a uh, water sign again, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Some wisdom flows from this one. Could be romance as well. Psychic powers development. Um, something nice developing with the family. And the moon, so shifting sands here. Things are changing. Ready or not, here it comes, you know. Uh, it could be the rules are changing where you work or in your life. Uh, maybe your moods are changing doesn't always have to be on the negative could be on the positive going from being upset and sad all the time to happy and glad so you're doing all right and you know, just make sure if you're uh, taking care of yourself here that you don't overindulge in anything and that can be from food um, alcohol drugs just try not to overdo take care of yourself for sure And the two of rods. So you've got the whole world in your hand. You know, you're sort of balancing it out. You know, nothing's wrong, but nothing seems to be really right for you either. You just, you're sort of stuck here. You're not sure which way to go. You, you know, you have a decision to make. It's just a matter of when you're going to make it. Just, you know, um... When you make your decision, try to follow your heart because it'll make you happy in the long run. Because if your heart isn't in it, you won't have follow through. And the hangman, time out. You, you seem to be needing some rest here. Maybe you're a little bit stressed about some stuff going on in your life. That's why you're not sure which way you're choosing to go here or things are changing and you're trying to catch up with them and the nine of cups so you made some sort of wish you're just sort of waiting for it to uh, get answered so but it's going to happen and i think it's to do with material wise you know so that you feel stable which is lovely. And the seven of rods. So you've had to just <laughs> stand your ground and, and uh, tell somebody your choices and, and more or less defend yourself, which is too bad, but your choices are yours. You have to make them that they're going to suit you and make you feel good. But that's my take on that. Maybe you've had to... Uh, talk to your boss or somebody in power and you've had to defend what happened and why it happened and it could be that as well and the death card hmm. so something coming to an end here you know you uh, making some sort of decision or something something's finished with or without you it's coming to an end it has to in order for something else to start better start over so all right and the three of pentacles so people appreciate what you've done this far in your life 
I mean, they notice you, they realize that, you know, you have uh, lots to offer. You're very knowledgeable and you're good at your, your work, whatever that may be. So you have a lot of respect from people for that, which is always lovely. And the chariot. So there is definitely something coming to an end here. You're going to make, make a, de a decision and you're going to ride off into the well boo yonder with it you know whether that's a vehicle or just you know deciding that it's done and this is your ticket out of whatever it happens to be it could be that as well um yeah reach for the brass ring here because you you will you'll get it and you know victories count But that's wonderful. You're going to succeed at something here, which is something I think you've been working at, like I said, for quite some time. And uh, it's going to come finally around in your favor, which is lovely. All right. I am going to shuffle and pick you an angel oracle card for this week and see what the angels have in store to say for you. You are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to the next step. Happiness awaits you now. And there you are. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, there is something coming to a finish here. And that could be a job, a relationship, where you live... Uh, where you want to travel. There's many, many scenarios for this, but it is going to turn out to be a good week in the end. You've waited quite a while for this decision. You've been weighing up a lot of pros and cons, and you want to make sure that you are can, can afford to do it. And uh, you're going to do all right. All right, everyone. I want to thank you for listening. And I will talk to you again next week. Till then, stay safe and goodbye for now.